Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this terrific, fabulous Friday. I am doing blessed. I am doing so blessed. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and blessings to you. And thank you for the support. And please like and subscribe, hit the notification button, and hit the bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are returning so, thank you for the support, love, and blessings, light to you, and namaste. And thank you for the support. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Look for good in every situation. Guys, I know we go through everything. I know she's like, what are you talking about? Look for good in every situation, whether it's good or it's bad. You always got to look for the good in every situation because there's always a lesson that you're learning throughout every experience that we have. Every experience. It's just like if somebody was to walk down the street and, you know, it could be an old lady sitting up here trying to, you know, go to the house or whatever and she has groceries in her hand. Are you going to go past her or are you going to help her up the stairs and open the door for her? You know, angels are always watching just to test you to see if you're going to do the right thing. Because now it's just like, I feel so good. I feel so much clearer. And it's just like, when you start letting go of stuff, I'm telling you guys, it refreshes you. It rejuvenates you. Because it's just like, no matter how bad my situation is, I'm looking for the good in everything. Like today, I'm looking to Bruno Mars, the instrumental, uh... Uh, what is it? 24 Karat Magic. It's like that song right there. Oh my gosh, guys. I love that song. It gets me all hyped up and just put my pinky fingers in the, in the air. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. And please be responsible. Please. You know, we, we act a fool. We want to get turned up or whatever. Like right now, I'm just so happy. It is just 2 2 2 um, that I'm giving up on my addiction, guys. Um, even though my 420, I still love them. I'll be still supporting everybody, but me, as for me, as in the person I need to be, I have to give up all that stuff. I have to give it all the time. All of it. So, it, it's just, I'm good. And I'm not scared. You know, I'm just like, oh my God, I think I'm going to get nervous because I've done it for so long because... I wanted to use, not like, you know, I was using it as a crutch or whatever. And maybe I was and just never realized it. But it was like when things got too unbearable, I would always go to that. Because I didn't want to deal with it. And, you know, and I had to face my fears. And it's just like, it's not like God or the angels are trying to punish me. And I used to always think like, I'm being punished, I'm being punished. No, they're not. They're just preparing me for a life that I have never <laughs> experienced in my life. But I have to do it on a clear mind. I have to be able to talk to people on a clear mind. I want to be able to remember stuff. You know, like, Dad, what did I do? You know, I, I, got, I got too much stuff to do and too much stuff to lose. Just sit up here and be getting involved with that. So, it, it, I mean, it feels really good. And every time I keep saying all this stuff, it's like I keep saying 2 2 2 3 3 3 so it's just like, I see the good in everything that is going on. Even though, it, it's just like, like I said, it's just like things might not be going exactly your way right now, but you never know what God has a plan for, have in store for you. It's just like I was talking to my dear friend Simone, you know, we were just talking about different things that we wanted to do. And she was like, girl, yes, I got you, I got you. Now I'm like, I'm like okay, now you're on the same page as me. Now you're on the same page. And it's just like I tell, like I tell you and anybody else, and I was telling her, you never know the reason why people are in, entering your life. Nobody is by chance, or it's just like, oh, it was bad timing. It's not a bad time. It's not a bad time, and it's not. And it's like everybody comes in your, your life for a lesson or a blessing. And either way, it's still a blessing, you know. And everything you lose is not a loss. Remember that. <laughs> Everything you lose is not exactly a loss. So don't be so hard on yourself when things are not going your way. If you know you are trying, and it might not, I mean, like I said, you don't have to get down for your dreams. Do not 
stop what you are doing because of what other people say. If I was worried about what other people said about me, <laughs> I'm still sitting in the same situation I'm in, but it's just like, like I said in my video before, if I would have kept my mouth shut, if I would have kept my mouth shut, I wouldn't be as far as I was. I wouldn't have met the people I met. I wouldn't know the things that I know right now. And it's just like, my, my weekend is already starting to begin good. Even though with my day, if I woke up stubbing my bag on toe, okay, it's going to hurt for a little bit, but you know what? I'm determined to make it a good day. I'm not going to let just because my, my toe got subbed on the side of that, that dresser or that mattress. And, I mean, mattress holder. Oh, my God. My toes just curled just thinking about that. You know, I'm going to be like my dad. Oh, artichoke, artichoke. Oh, my God. But it's going to be a good day. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. So, guys, just pray, meditate, think about stuff good. Because I'm telling you, when you, well, I had to learn the hard way. When you keep focusing on the negative and not focusing on the beautiful things that you're experiencing, you, you will have your blessing pass you right by because you're worried about the stuff behind you, or you're worried about the stuff beside you when you're supposed to be looking up front. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. I mean, I've seen so many people just mess up their lives because they put it in somebody else's hands or they didn't do what they wanted to do when they know you were the only person that can make them happy. Because we'll try to, you know, oh, you, you'll you try to find happiness in a job, in a man, or in a woman, or in, in money. You have to find happiness within yourself. So look at every situation. It's like, it might be hard right now. And I mean, it's just like some people are like, what about the people that are homeless? What about those? I, I've never been homeless, so I can't talk about that. But I have met a couple of homeless people that they told me they actually like living on the street because they have freedom. They actually feel free. And that was a good thought because it was just like, you're free. How are you free? But actually, you can sleep wherever you want. You ain't got to pay nobody's bills. The only tough thing is you gotta find somewhere to wash your butt, go find, you know, food, food to eat, and then it's just like when the weather change changes drastically, you just gotta find a place to stay. But they say other than that, it's like my life is an adventure every day, so I don't take anything for granted. It's like sometimes, you know, you do meet people that are, you know, disabled veterans or veterans and stuff like that, that are going through things. You know, and which I'm not even going to get on that note because it just irritates me for anybody who has served our country. And I'm going to just say this, and I'm, I'm not into militaries and government and stuff like that. But in my opinion, I feel like if you have signed a waiver of your life to defend for our country, to go over to somebody else's country, to go do some mess, and then there's some of them don't come back right. Some of them don't come back at all. You should not have to worry about how are you going to pay your bills. You should not have to worry about your family being evicted. You should not have to worry about that because if you sign your life over to defend our country, there should be nothing that you have to worry about. Nothing. Because if I have a chance to do that, that will be the first thing I change for veterans. Because I see so many veterans that fight to get what they, they're entitled to. People don't want to give it to them, but you have no problem with sending them over there. But I ain't gonna get into that. That's a whole different story. But I'm just saying, I always have an opinion about things, and it's just like I, I, I try to think in a positive manner. I try to think, you know, hey, this ain't gonna be like this forever. You know, you're mad because of what they did. Don't worry about that. Let the universe handle that. So if somebody wrongs you, don't try to get back in. I'm only weak people do that. Okay, smart people ignore. I, I just ignore it. I ain't got time. If I see the number come up on the call ID, oops, I ain't about to answer that one. I hear you ringing, but you can't come in. You, you pass the start and ring back. Don't answer that. Leave it alone. Because it's just like when you are determined, you are on a path. Trust me, there's going to be people and situations going to pop up in your path just to see how you going to react to it. Just to see, okay, they said they're strong. They said they're going to do this. Okay. Let me put you down to that test and see what you're going to do. Because everything, it's like we're in school, guys. We're in school. Because if you know you want to be a better person, nothing in life is going to be easy. I know that. It's just like, you know, some people have that instant karma and it can just come like that. 
the other people uh, work hard. That girl from the round up, like I had to get wiped out to where I had nothing. Nothing at all. And I'm okay. I'm okay. Because it's like when I see my videos, I was like, oh my God, I'm just crying. Because I went to the and I was angry. I, I had every right to be. I was very emotional, but I needed you guys to see that. To let you know what my dad's daughter went through, what Prince's daughter went through. But just to let you know, you go through stuff, you're going to make you you're gonna make it. You are. Some things are tough. People lose loved ones, people lose children. And it, it's just like, it is. sometimes it marks a path to somebody else. And if you down the line, you'll probably find out the reason why this has happened. It might not seem good to you now, but later on you'll you'll see something. And sometimes you don't. I don't know. But it's just try to make good in every situation. Look for the good in every situation. And I am not gonna hold you guys up. I got some things to do. You have a blessed weekend. Stay safe, be responsible, and I will talk to you later. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification button. And the bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Even drop a comment. Leave me a message. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace. And be wild.